Two classic pieces of tactical equipment return once again in Black Ops Cold War, with the ability to impair enemy mobility and awareness. But which one is more effective? Best tactical grenade. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, it seems that the Stimshot has emerged as the go-to piece of tactical equipment. However, when used correctly, the tactical grenades can shift the balance in any gunfight. In today's video, I'll dig deep into the stats of two equally popular choices in the tactical equipment category, the stun grenade and the flashbang. After explaining exactly how these two items work, We'll compare them with each other and see if we can discover the best tactical grenade in Black Ops Cold War. The Stun Grenade is a throwable tactical grenade that disorients enemies and slows movement. It detonates shortly after impact. If you're caught within the blast radius of a Stun Grenade, you'll experience reduced movement speed. You'll be unable to sprint and will only be able to move at a fraction of your default walking speed. The effect will last for two seconds before subsiding and you will then regain full mobility. During this time period, you will also lose your ability to jump at full height. However, your ability to adjust your point of aim and go prone at full speed will remain unaffected. In addition to reduced movement speed, your left hand will release the weapon for one second and you'll temporarily lose the ability to aim down sight. Even though you are able to fire your weapon while stunned, your accuracy will be very poor. Your hip fire crosshair will disappear during the two second stun period and you'll simply spray wildly in the general direction that you're aiming. The stun grenade requires direct line of sight to be effective, so taking cover is a viable strategy to avoid the effects of the stun grenade. It's also important to note that the severity of the stun grenade's effects will remain consistent regardless of the direction you're facing and regardless of your distance from the blast. The in-game description tells us that the flashbang blinds enemies and impairs hearing, and it detonates shortly after being thrown. If caught within the blast radius of a flashbang, you'll experience temporary vision and hearing loss. This effect will last for two seconds before subsiding. However, unlike the stun grenade, you will retain all other movement and weapon handling abilities while under the effects of the flashbang. It's important to note that the flashbang also requires direct line of sight to be effective. And similar to the stun grenade, the direction you're facing and your distance from the source of the blast will have no impact on the severity of the effects. Now that we understand how these items work, we can compare them with each other. We'll start by looking at the blast radius. In this category, the flashbang comes out on top with a blast radius of 15 meters compared to the 12 meter effective range of the stun grenade. For our next comparison, we'll look at handling time or throwing time of each piece of tactical equipment. Using flashbang. This is represented by the time required to remove your left hand from the weapon, throw the grenade and put your left hand back and stabilize the weapon. In Cold War, the weapon you're holding does not affect equipment throwing times. So these times will remain consistent whether you're holding an LMG or a pistol. Flashbang out. Uh. 
In this category, the two pieces of tactical equipment come out even with a throwing time of 1.15 seconds. Next up, we'll compare throwing distance. Flashbang out. For this comparison, each piece of equipment will be thrown standing still and at the exact same upward angle. Throwing stun. Once again, the items are equally matched with a throwing distance of 45 meters. Lastly, we'll look at detonation time. Since these two items behave differently in this regard, we won't get much value from a direct comparison, but it is helpful to know these numbers nonetheless. <laughs> the stun grenade detonation requires an impact to activate and will detonate 500 milliseconds after contact with any object. The flashbang doesn't require an impact and can be air detonated if thrown high enough. Throwing flash. The flashbang will detonate 1.5 seconds after being thrown. So how do we counter the stun grenade and the flashbang? The tack mask perk will prevent the negative effects of these two items. You will endure a momentary visual disruption but will otherwise be unaffected by the stun and the flashbang. The trophy system is a field upgrade which will intercept and destroy as many as four incoming lethal and tactical grenades. Maneuvering within the trophy system's effective range will protect you from the stun grenades and the flashbang. Now that we understand how these two grenades work, we can discuss using them more effectively. To get the most benefit, you'll need to be fairly close to your enemy, as you'll only have a two second time window to engage before the effects wear off. Another useful feature of these two items is their ability to discover hidden enemies. By simply tossing a tactical grenade into a room or building, you'll be notified if enemies are present, even if they have pack mask equipped. Statistically, these two pieces of tactical equipment are very well balanced, with only a slight edge going to the flashbang due to its slightly larger blast radius. After using both of these items for several games, I prefer the flashbang over the stun. In addition to the extra range of the flashbang, its blinding effects will reduce the likelihood of enemies responding with random gunfire. Of course, this is all just my opinion and I would like to hear from you guys. What is your favorite tactical grenade in Black Ops Cold War and why? Let me know in the comments section down below and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.